I'm doing obviously uh, people who don't know I've been doing a uh, I've been doing a write up on BGG of like the top 20 ox I've only got one part of it out thus far but we'll get there but where did I have Haydryer? all of a sudden I realized I don't know that I had Haydryer. oh I do have it in the top 20 okay good 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 I was like all of a sudden I thought Haydryer was out of completely out but no no Haydryer is Haydryer is up there okay good 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 um I think this has to be Haydryer. If we get Hedgekeeper back, even better. Hedgekeeper, Haydryer, cool. Really get the fences out fast. But I like Haydryer a lot. Writing boards is pretty strong. Getting a wood for every Ock you have is nice. But I'm not totally convinced in it here. I'm normally a big Milk Jug fan, but with Haydryer, you're also getting like a lot of late game food from cows, and you also critically don't want to take cows. So I'm not that interested in the Milk Jug. The Muddy Puddles, on the other hand, is kind of intriguing. But it takes a lot of clay, and I'm still expecting to fence fast. Unf yeah, this pack is not really what you want. It could be a scales game plan. We're second seat, so it's pretty easy to go three wood start player most of the time. And scales can be pretty good, but I don't really like first picking it. I'm kind of tempted to just take maintenance premium. I also think maintenance premium is pretty good. But yeah, this this pack of miners is like reasonably good, and yet none of it is particularly good for Haydryer. I mean, writing boards, I guess, has to be okay for Haydryer. Still, it's just I don't know how many other early ox I'm gonna play. That's there's so, there's a lot of wood in the game too between Hedgekeeper writing boards potentially. Hmm. Yeah, this one's tough. Hey, Zazak. I guess I should just take writing boards. It's incredibly playable, even if it's a wood to, like, two food. Part of the problem here is I don't play a lot of early ox, though, which makes writing boards a little weaker, and Haydryer kind of only wants to happen at, like, I'm not going to play Haydryer, then play writing boards, then fence, usually. Writing boards, muddy puddles, maintenance premium, scales, milk jug. I get one of them back. Just take writing boards. Having control of writing boards is good, but a little bit tricky here. Definitely a little tricky. Hey, Zach, sorry to see that uh, your game went so rough. Looks like you're taking a fourth, unless I don't. I don't look super closely. Maybe Red has to eat enough things that you're not actually. Oh, and you're getting a lot more points right here. Okay, maybe. I don't know. Oh, you had fodder planner. I forgot you had fodder planner. Oh, wow, they had an eight-point soldier. Cool. Okay, you get, you snuck third on tiebreak. Well done. But yeah, that's rough. Wow, you're down to 512, actually. That is rough. Sorry. Third, but been on a super rough streak. Yeah, going down to 512 is very rough. But these things happen. I've been incredibly lucky lately. Just, like, my, my luck has been obviously dumb. And I'm getting past a swing plow here. I mean, incredible. Absolutely ludicrous. Uh, probably just take Bonehead. Although I am a pretty big fan of chairman food. But Haydryer is a lot of late game food, and Bonehead is just a lot of early wood, which is something that I want. And I want to now play Ox so I can hit this. Bonehead is also pretty nice if we get the scales back. Uh, food Basket is also quite strong. I don't expect that to come back around. The miners look bad on the wheel, but... Um, Fodder Planner would be pretty good this game, too, with Swing Plow and a bunch of breeding animals. Fodder Planner on the wheel would be nice, but I think this is Bonehead or Chairman. I think i try to get Fodder Planner back on the wheel, which might not happen, but... I don't even hate Priest here, either, but Hardlining Clay Reno seems wrong. I like Chairman food, but Bonehead's got to just be better here. Six wood is a lot. It, it, it's super, it super combos with what I want to be doing. Everything about Boneheads, what I want to be doing, actually. This 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 ties things together very nicely. We have a very strong just farming game. We do need to find a bit of points, probably. Um, like, we could just have a greeting plan for our six fields. Although, we usually want to plant crops. Excursion of the Quarry, also very good. Forest Stone, also quite good. Um, patch Caregiver's okay. Animal Tamer not really needed. 
Gamecatcher normally is probably the best Ock in the pack, but here it's not particularly needed with Haydryer. Uh, this Miner is tricky, because Excursion, Forest Stone, and Greeting Plan all have their place. I'm a pretty big Forest Stone fan of just a stone to a point. I'm also generally a pretty big fan of Excursion of the Quarry, though. And then Greeting Plan... It's tough. Greeting Plan could be huge, however, because I think there's thing I think there's enough handful of crops and I have a lot of fields, I think I want to just plant crops. I don't think I want to go for the... I think this is fake ceiling. I think I should just be planting crops. So I think I go forest stone over excursion just to keep the food costs down and get food assistance and get a few off-board. This is still an off-board point. I mean, this could lead to a lot of points. Hard. Uh, as for Ock, yeah, these are mostly underwhelming. I guess I could play Seed Seller just to get a grain. Although, I mean, I could also play Patch Caregiver just to get a grain. No, I kind of like Seed Seller, though, actually. Just pay for a grain. Although, it's never... Hmm. I would like early Ox. I would like other things with Bonehead to activate Swing Plow, but none of these are particularly early. And I'm running out of time because I'm being sloppy, so... All right, uh, stable planner seems pretty good. Retail dealer's pretty good. There's a stew, unfortunately, for the uh, other thing that I just passed. Not taking greeting plan with swing plow and no crops. Uh, I'm expected to get a fodder planner, and I saw several other crop stuff that I'm thinking is gonna wheel. But I'm also lower on greeting plan than most players. Because I think I should just, with all those fields, I think I should be sowing. Tamer was grain too. Yeah, it was, but I don't need animal tamer when I'm going to fence early. Um, stable planner seems pretty good, although I often want to play bonehead first. Retail dealer probably isn't coming at the right timing, but I'm a pretty big retail dealer fan in terms of a way to also generate crops and a little more food. The miners I'm not very interested in, unfortunately. I guess I de-draft the stew, or I possibly potter's market this game for veggies, because I don't have a veg source, and now I declined greeting plan. Yeah, actually, this potter's market maybe is playable. I'm not usually particularly into potter's market, but it kind of does things here. Stable planner is like just three points worth of stables, which is pretty good. The timing on it's a little awkward, but. Uh, maintenance premium came back. I'm pretty content with that. Uh, as for the Ock here, I don't think I want to play Earthenware Potter. No, I don't want to play Earthenware Potter, so I guess I take Master Bricklayer, even though I don't expect to play this. All right, we're hoping Fodder Planner comes back. Yeah, things are okay. Fodder Planner does come back, as does Chairman. Wow. I'm really surprised Chairman coming all the way around. Chairman's very solid food. Um, Chairman's very solid early food. I guess the problem is I want to play Bonehead and Stable Planner pretty early, though. So, given that I'm playing both of those cards early, and given that I did decline Greeting Plan with Swing Plow, uh, I mean, most of the reason I declined Greeting Plan is because I was pretty sure Fodder Planner was coming back, so I guess let's not get distracted. We were planning on Fodder Planner. Screw Chairman here. Fishing that as a point seems good enough. Blade Shear is meh, Cobb super meh. Yeah, we'll just have a fishing net. That's fine. Yeah, that works. Patch Caregiver came back, and Greeting Plan came back. Well, never mind. Just do it all. We have all the options. All the options are ours. If we want to ignore crops and do Greeting Plan, we can. I still think we're probably supposed to do things with crops completely. Like, we have so many fields, and we have a fodder planter. Like, and we should be breeding quite a bit. It should just be a lot of points to just plant the damn crops and not worry about Greeting Plan. Early sheep, a little bit extra food in the game. It's fine. 
this hand definitely wants a hearth at some point. But prior to that, I'm going to just take RSF and get trickles of food via Forest Stone and Maintenance Premium. Uh, Clay Warden, interesting. Okay. I'm just going to take RSF because that's who I am rather than expensive Ock. I mean, Bonehead here makes some sense for sure because a lot of my miners require Ox. That three wood indicates to me purple's going to SP with the scales, which is okay. It does mean, classic me, I'm not going to get much ox in early, but I will live with that. Uh, although my next action here might be a little awkward, because taking clay is a little annoying, because it doesn't guarantee me fireplace. Wow, and bricklayer. The stew might have wound up here. Oh wow, Teal's just going to re-upstart though. Well, that's very kind of them. Thank you. You have a wage. You just SP and wage in round one. Dubious, but I accept. I mean, I guess it's like day laboring, but very unfortunate for some of these other players who are almost certainly trying to uh, do... I'm guessing this is scales. Uh, very much guessing this is scales, and I'm guessing this is stew. So I'm guessing my opponents want to SP a lot in the early game, which is fortunate because I just don't. I don't want to SP in the early game. <laughs> I want to Ock. I want to take RSF. That's what I care about. I'm probably just taking a couple two wood actions too, which is a bit lame, but it's fine. We get the option between RSF or free Ock. This might be a good time to sneak in Bonehead, although actually, wait a sec, with purple on a scales game plan... Ock might come back. Screw it. Just take all the RSF early. Like, let's just not get... Let's not get fancy. Let's not get fancy with Ox. I guess I'm supposed to play Stable Planner at some point, too, on time. Which, you know, looking dubious given what I'm doing. But so be it. Possibly I just play Stable Planner and then I play Bonehead. That's really not a big issue either, right? Go Stable Planner, then Bonehead. I'm only one wood behind on Bonehead, but I have better tempo on when the stables are coming in and making sure to actually get all the stables. Yeah, I don't mind that, actually. Go Stable Planner, then Bonehead. I'll get enough wood off the Bonehead still. Once we play Stable Planner, Bonehead, we're ready to play Forest Stone Maintenance Premium. If I keep taking RSF, I might have an extra read for Fishing Net. The third Ock for Swing Plow will be just mildly tricky to figure out, but we'll get there. Once we have three ox in play, writing boards for three wood is fine. Like, it scares me a little because I'm passing it. Or I'm passing a writing boards to a guy that's going to be doing scales stuff. But red has animal feeder, which makes me super confident that they wound up with the animal feeder stew stuff. Oh wow, they're taking two more clay though. We get ock back. This is why we did not Ock, because we thought there was a chance of this with uh, the Scales player, but the Bricklayer taking two clay is a bit wild. Uh, very interesting. Field Watchman. We played Clay Warden Wage, and we delayed Field Watchman? That's insane. No wonder we got a Swing Plow, though. They might have some sort of beer table or something, but what the fudge is Clay Warden Wage doing round one when you could open Field Watchman and just sow your grain fields? But hey, whatever. Uh, great start for us here. I am going to greed the Bonehead first now. The Stable Planner can come a bit later. That's fine. <sighs> here is the scales, as expected. And Red is annoyed that they can't probably play their thing. They might just plow again. There's very little, there's relatively little plow pressure given that I have swing plow and there's a field watchman. Um, yeah. The read pressure at the moment is a little high. And Teal is very hard to read what they're doing because they also chose two read over RSF, which is kind of interesting with field watchman because usually you want a clay oven, but. Red just takes two wood this time, okay. I mean, I'm happy there's no four wood, but what a weird start. Late major, so fighting for the first fireplace that sheep grab just got interesting. Chairman is getting played, so now there's food on start player. Okay. Chairman is a solid awk. I would like to just take three wood here and have room parts, or do I actually want to play stable planner? 
This is a pretty good round to just get Stable Planner out, actually. Red's going to just get the stew out. They're sick of getting blocked. Cool. It's fine by me. I think this is just play Stable Planner, and I'll probably get Wood or RSF back anyhow. Oh, wow, it's a board Oriole. Uh, we're going to delay the stew because we're greedy for points. This is how you know you're a mid-range player. Um, a board Oriole is a trap compared to just actually doing the thing, but whatever. Uh, we're going to get the stable platter out. This is important. If I'm forced to take two wood, I can live with two wood, but... They SP'd for fireplace? No? Oh, yeah, they still can fireplace. Uh, but, okay, the problem is I'm almost confident they have stew, and they want to play... An they revealed they want to play animal feeder. I think the Oriole is still a mistake, given they want to get stew animal feeder going. But you are right, they SP'd for fireplace, duh, duh, duh. They're, they're, they're SP'ing for the food. Which is fine. That's uh, all the wood is going. Okay. If I get RSF back, I'll take it. Otherwise, I guess I will just take three food, or maybe I do take two wood if Teal doesn't, just to lock up first room. Slightly unclear, but everything's going just just dandy, just dandy at the moment. Yeah, I'm not really interested in two wood again, right? Probably not. Probably just take three food if I have to. I don't love three food action, but... Wow! Uh, I thought red was going fireplace, but three food is a surprise. Okay. Uh, I get RSF, though, because Teal does just want room parts. Okay, fine. I will just keep spamming this action. That is fine. Teal can have the first room. Two wood seems dog shit. Fireplace isn't quite possible yet. I, well, my main point is red is going to build a fireplace here, so three food seems like a weak action when you have a giant pile of stuff, but, like, you have a pile of sheep now, but whatever. Um, yeah, Teal is playing another Oc and not using Field Watchman stuff, okay. Swagman, Teal really wants to allow both of us, wait, they're, okay, they're, I see, they're going to grain seeds into build, that's cool. It's still weak if they don't have a reason for this much food. I assume they don't. And again, the other problem is they almost certainly have stew plus animal feeder. Like, yeah, I, I, I believe Red's... I, I'll, I'll grant Red was 4C. Teal started the game and re-upped start. It's, it's been funky. I'm supposed to just take three, three wood? Three wood? I think I'm supposed to just take three wood. I'm supposed to take a lot of wood from here, right? I have a hay dryer. I, I just want to take lots of wood. Lots of wood. I would like to take four clay for a hearth. Earthenware pot are getting played. Okay, that's not scary. I do think I take four clay on the wheel for hearth. Wait, purple didn't take two reed? Wait a sec. Purple not taking two reed is also insane. Uh, okay. Red should take two reed. But... They're going to take two wood over two reed. This game is baffling. Wait, and this is start player, not build? This has got to be wrong. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's just a misclick. I'm like, that's got to be a misclick. you got to be aiming for grain seeds, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like, what? Do I just take another RSF then? Like, or do I just take the two reeds so purple can't build? I guess I always build next round regardless. I just open build next round. I guess, yeah, I let purple take two reed. I, what am I doing with two reed? I don't want to double build this game. Uh, unless it's early growth, maybe, but probably not. I think I'm supposed to just focus on doing farming stuff. So I think I should just take the four clay and then next round is just build and hearth. Alternatively, my food is kind of bad. It could be for food. My food's a little bit rough. Although I'm about to SP with... I have some hidden food stuff at hand that's going to help quickly. I also could build the well at any point. This is probably build an early well game also. Which means 4 clay could be the wrong number. Because I might be forced onto a 5 clay hearth. Awkward. There's a lot of good actions on this board because my opponents have done some dubious shit. Mostly red. Like, red taking two wood on this board is insane. Red's taken a lot of weak actions. Like, two clay, two wood, two wood, three food. Like, 
Red's bleeding a lot of value, but uh, I think I take Fort Clay. But maybe that's overvaluing the hearth. I just keep spamming RSFs. What am I doing with more RSF, though? I don't like that. I sort of like four food. But maybe I just take five food next round? I don't know. Uh, all right, screw it. Let's just take a pile. Let's... Not that this is great. Oh, also there's a clay warden. Interesting. Forgot about the clay warden. Do I actually want to take the other four clay? Just because of clay warden? Uh, nah. This, this is fine. Purple does not take two read again. What? Wooden way bucket. Just because we have scales? These players are crazy. I mean, I guess you could SP into three read, but this is... Oh, this is tough. I do th expect red to SP stew still at some point, which probably means teal won't even have to defend start player. But I'm absolutely going to build, and I will start player on the wheel if teal for some reason, like... If teal's not going to protect, I absolutely... I absolutely will start SP in with Forest Stone Maintenance Premium. Reno flips. It's not early growth. I think that's ultimately good. I don't actually think I want early growth. Mid growth looks probably best. Field watching's pretty strong in late growth. Purple takes more wood, continues ignoring Reed. Red also continues ignoring Reed. How are these players... I, I, I don't understand how people manage to get themselves a like 300 to 400 rating on this site. We have established person, we're fencing four, and we're taking the sheep. Okay, that's kind of cute, but wow, did we really build this poorly. But, okay. I guess I don't have to build with this action if I don't want to, but I think I do want to build and put pressure. I think I build and put pressure... Because I'm happy. I could even try start building. Oh, wow. I could try start building. I kind of hate start building, though, just in case weirdness happens. I don't need to start build here, just in case. Well, God, it's pretty good. Eh, I don't know. Let's just do this. This is fine, right? Oh, I also can't build the well if I plan to forest stone. Interesting. Brushwood Collector. That's why we ignored Reed, so we could play Brushwood Collector. See, this is, yeah, this is also a sign that you're not very strong. You feel like Five Food has a ton of value, and you would have snapped it. Yeah. You might be correct that I'm supposed to just take Five Food. Uh, I've been relying a little too much on some of my miners to carry me. I think I might just get Five Food back, but I also have quite a few miners that let me greed the bottom feeding here, but yeah, it, I don't think you're wrong about the five food because getting through this stage is rough without it. But Teal is just going to SP, so I will just snap five food now. But because Chairman's in the game, I think I'm able to SP. Five food means no feeding until stage three. Yeah, but I see, the thing is, if I get SP here because of Chairman and because I have Wage and Forest Stone and Maintenance Premium, I think I can eke out food by squatting for growth. But I do agree that I just take five food here. As much as like building the well and stuff looks fun, there's really no pressure on it because my opponents don't understand how to take the reedstone food button. So like we'll build the well soon, we'll build a hearth soon, and we'll keep taking wood piles. It's late growth, okay. I'm just gonna take four four wood then here. This is definitely go just four wood and then major hearth probably just because I don't I guess there's six clay also but six clay seems like a trap although I could take six clay and reno huh six clay and reno is also kind of good but god there's four wood and I have a hay dryer and late growth no 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 and a swing plow let's let's be real let's take let's take all the wood we're supposed to spam wood the other stuff's mostly a distraction it's fun distractions but it's mostly distractions muddy puddles okay that's why we played the Clay Warden. Still can't believe that we have no grain going to the ground, by the way. And no food. It seems wild, but... It's because it is wild, I guess. So whatever. Just take four wood. Uh, if six clay or even four clay comes back, though, maybe I just take it. Because then I can just reno next round. Yeah, actually, taking the clay on the wheel and just going for start player reno next round seems fine. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. I think that's the play. Although, how is this not... I was going to say, okay, we're playing Priest. I was going to say, how is this not 6 clay? But Priest gives us room parts, okay. This makes a little more sense. You like Auk also, but not expensive Auk? Yeah. I mean, I'm getting 6 clay. I don't really need 6 clay, but I'm getting it. I'm just going to take it. Everybody else is taking wood, which kudos to them. Because like... you like just getting Swing Plow down, actually. Mm. Yeah, no, now that I think about that, Swing Plow tempo is always really annoying. Uh, gosh, so maybe I'm not renovating next round. Maybe I do sneak an Auk in, just so I can grow Swing Plow, so that we can aggressively get that going, too. Trixie, Trixie, Trixie. I do think Six Clay is worth it, though. This this makes Reno and Hearth easy. And at a certain point, denying huge piles to my opponents has some modicum of value. I don't, I don't really know what anybody was going to do with six clay, although there's a money puddles on the table. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. It's late growth. There's going to be some piles. The wood is a little tight, but again, bonehead writing board should start doing some good work for me here. Um, the hay dryer probably isn't going to actually work until... I'm probably not hay dry in stage three just because I'm, I'm, like, I'm first having three actions in round nine, so I'm probably not getting any cows until kind of late, which is okay. Probably not playing Forest Stone. I think I'm just going to SP. And I do think I'm just going to renovate to the well. I think the trickles of food from the well are going to be quite nice. And the well is just solid. It's hard to totally say here. Huh. Yeah, this is tricky. I mean, I think I just played Maintenance Premium. God, am I going to play an Ock, though, instead of Reno this round? There really is no pressure on the well. There's very little pressure on Reno, too, so I can probably Reno well after growing next round, although who knows what the wood's going to be like. I also have to keep taking wood. Let's just go maintenance premium. I think I'm just going to renovate to the well. Three wood goes. I mean, kudos for purple for really hitting the wood hard. That part does suggest they're actually a good player. Red's going for double build. These people are building too many rooms in late growth, though. Like, purple should not have probably built this room. Like, they're growing for the first time in round nine. When are you growing into this other wood room, and wouldn't you be better off fencing? The answer is yes, you'd be better off fencing, but... Uh, Teal takes a four food action? What? I mean, I guess. What else are they doing? They should be grain plowing. Why are we not grain plowing? But whatever. Um, okay, I do kind of like Ock, actually, the more I look at it. Maybe this should just be Ock so that I can grow swing plow. Growing swing plow is just so clean. So very, very clean. And I just play fodder planner. Not that Fodder Planner is going to do anything for quite a while. I could just play Hay Dryer, also. Could just play Hay Dryer. Am I supposed to play Hay Dryer? Because what is Fodder Planner ever going to be doing for me? If Hay Dryer actually accelerates our game slightly. Maybe it does mean that I can fence slightly in round 9. Probably not. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We should be focused on farming. We should not be focused on Renos. Well, God, the well is important food, though. How important is that food? Somewhat important, surely. Our food is a little sketch. We can grow with wage if we just play the well, but then we have to play the swing plow at some point, annoyingly. We have a lot of improvements to play is really the issue. I am gonna I'm gonna ah, and get the swing plow out. Could be wrong. God, the food gets kind of tight. See if I don't get the food going, though. Not having a hearth is also, like, mildly a problem. Because... Well, I'm going to have stables to be able to put animals on, though. Well, not until round nine. Hmm. I really... This is a very tough position. 
Do I really want to just grow with Wage? Growing with Wage is kind of lame when I have other cards that are worth playing. <sighs> I'm just going to do this, though. I like the food. I like the food. <sighs> but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I literally don't know. I also technically could pay two food for Forest Stone, which is like meaningful food, but I think that's wrong. I think I am just growing with the wage, but very hard. Very, very hard. Purple plows. Purple, like taking three wooden plows, at least reacting to the late growth well, but. All right. I would like to start taking every three wood action I see. Right? Yeah, I would like to take every three wood action I see. So I'm going to grow wage, take every three wood action I find. Then the priority is Ock. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh, hey Chris, oh, welcome. You were trying to chat, but you were watching on your phone, couldn't log in? Oh, dang. Sorry to hear that. Uh, pig flipping is good news. Pig flipping is pretty welcome, because um, that's even more food, and we possibly can take two pigs next round into our stables. Um, I'm just growing with the wage. Gosh, yeah, I don't love this, but... Ah, Master Bricklayer there was really good, because it lets you run a well and build pottery. Mmm. I, I do often ignore Master Bricklayer. To solve the food and grow swing plow. Yeah. I mean, I need a hearth long term though, so I'm not that interested in pottery, especially with the muddy puddles in front of me. But maybe, maybe that was the play. Um, I will take three wood here. If I don't get three wood, I'm probably just aking. Actually, I might just be hearthing. It might be time just to hearth. Well, no, I'd have to take every three wood I see. Okay, I don't get three wood though, so yeah, I'm just gonna hearth. Pottery seems pretty weak. I agree. I think pottery's wrong. But you don't like not growing with the plow. Yeah, I think not growing with the plow is possibly going to be very painful. But we'll find out. You think pottery is good? Okay, that's fine. I, I'm not that interested in it, but... It's for the food, not the points. Oh, well, okay, see, I think, I think doing pottery for the food, then, is, is weak. I think pottery for food is weak. There's a lot of animals. It's late growth. There's a lot of food. Maintenance premium for a stone and well. Eh, hearth is, I agree, hearth way better for food with what's coming. Hedge keeper in the game, okay. And late growth. Hearth, hearth has got to be way better for food. I'm going to get breeding animals on my farm in a sec. Like, I'm getting the pigs or the sheep. I, like... In late growth, hearth isn't needed. I think hearth is. Pottery sitting after muddy puddles is terrible. I agree. The The thing is, potter, the other reason I don't like pottery is there's an earthenware potter. Like, there's an earthenware potter, there's a muddy puddles. Like, I'm not going to just get a big clay stack at the end of the game. I, I, I don't, so I'm not that interested in pottery. I also think three stone here is like fine, but not particularly strong. But yeah, I I am I do need to take wood first action next round actually though over animals cattle feeder. Wow. Okay. Um. See, this is I am playing with fa it, it's fascinating playing with these like mid elo players these like three hundreds and four hundreds like what are you how have you not got grain in the ground and why why are you playing cattle feeder. You don't have a hearth. You don't have food. You, why are we adding cows to the game? What are you going to do with them? You got to go, but you watch the VOD. Hey, yeah, see ya. Thanks for popping by. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to wind up winning this game just because my opponents are doing enough inefficient things, but it's hard to say because my opponents are also doing reasonably well about taking wood. Oh my, he's building another room though. Okay, never mind. I, yeah, okay. Wouldn't pottery be just one more point for sketchier food? Probably, Gonzo. I mean, I, I kind of see where Chris is going for the pottery, but most of us really like the hearth, so. I should really be asking about the hot Look, why is there a hollow warden? Is because of muddy puddles? But yeah, why did we open... Like, they opened the game hollow warden into SP wage 
And then they played Field Watchmen. Like it's it's just it's horrible. And they and they just built another room. Like building another room is absolutely ludicrous. Oh my god, wood slide hammer. Okay, no wonder we've taken so much wood. We first picked a wood slide and we're gonna kill ourselves on a big stone house. Fine by me. Um, there are four sheep, which is like a lot of food, but I just don't need it. I need three wood. I'm opening three wood, and then I'm gonna take sheep or pigs. Milk jug, so much food. I should definitely wheel one animal pair. Agreed. I like it just seems baffling not to. The main reason I'm a little bit scared is the wooden weigh bucket, but like they don't have time for that either. Also, veggie what what is happening? Whatever. I give me wood. Wood. I want wood. All the wood. You've been super guilty of overthinking field watching and your latest theory is just friggin' play it and use it and don't get cute. Correct. I mean I'm a little bit, I think me and Lumen are a little too rigid about just play field watching and use it stage one, but also like that's a very strong default and there's a very good reason to just do it. And you need a really good reason not to. This is very much worse than like where they should be, but anyhow, purple gets all the clay, that's fine. Red, I don't even know what they're going to do. If I get three more wood, I will slam three more wood, like... I also think I'm getting four wood because Teal has to start player because people have built way too many effing rooms. So I think I get to go three wood, four wood, and then I get to fence. I get to play hay dryer. Uh, I should be able to SP swing plow some or major minor swing plow. The swing plow is a little tight. I'd really like to get the swing plow plow in round 11 and then only need it one more time in the late game. Uh, but we're going to find out because it gets a little sketch. Um... Okay, unfortunately, three wood does go. That's that's a good play by them. I get both animal pairs, but I don't really need them. I guess I get to Ake Dryer here, at least. Veg is fine. Sowing veg and grain here is good. I guess it is. What are they major minor in a fireplace? And they're just going to eat the cow? I don't know that they're even sowing. I guess they are sowing. Yeah, they're fireplacing, and then they're going to eat. Okay, whatever. Anyhow, you think you're just right, though, since having additional premium action space is most powerful when the board is smaller, when the families are huge. Y yeah. Okay. Um, I'm playing Haydryer. Ooh, actually, wait a sec. I think I take the sheep. I play Haydryer, and I buy a cow? This way of field watching is horrific, but there are plenty of reasons not to go into stage one field watching, in your opinion. I don't know if there's a lot of reasons, but I agree there are reasons. There are reasons to not just do the stage one field watching. But yeah, this way is horrific. If I take these sheep and I play hay dryer, I can buy a cow here. Also, it makes Teal's feeding a lot harder, actually. They might have wanted all that sheep. I mean, they should be so baking. Or just grain plowing and eating the cow. Okay, but... Uh, you think they're just more efficient food engines revised than Field Watchmen with no big support? Okay, that part's fair. I, I will grant Field Watchmen is a little awkward because there's not enough bake actions a lot of the time. Field Watchmen is nowhere near as powerful here as it is in original. I agree with that because, yeah, there's way less... All the oven upgrades and shit are gone, which kind of sucks. Um... All right, I'm just going to play hay dryer. Am I actually seriously buying a cow, though? I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to buy the cow. Well, it does slightly hurt to buy the cow. Buying the cow means I'm not breeding the sheep. Hmm. Yeah, if I buy the cow, I can't breed the sheep. The upside is the cows can breed faster. I, I, like, I can potentially breed the cows quicker, but I guess I don't need to be breeding cows quicker, right? I can just be breeding these. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Okay. Yeah, let's not get let's not get that fancy. We'll we'll get the cows fast enough. I think you need a baking payoff for field watch to be strong. To me it's the additional good action space that makes it strong. Yeah. Field watch one was super strong in original because well, two reasons. Field watch well, several reasons. It turns out field watch one was stronger in original because um there was way less bake competition. Like nobody really cared about ovens usually because there's not that much grain. There were a bunch of oven upgrades. 
meaning that you got extra bake actions pretty easily. You would build an oven. Later, you could SP with some oven upgrade, get a bake action. That was hugely powerful uh, to like keep your, you know, not have to keep taking actions to so bake. Um, and food was also way more important in original. Um, but in revised, I think Sid's right. There's so many other ways to feed that you don't necessarily need to plant your grain fields in stage one in order to get the value, but. Yeah. Yep. It can be. I agree, Sid. I agree. So I shouldn't be that harsh on Teal here. Teal, Teal not playing field watching and using it stage one is not that big of an issue. The bigger issue is Teal doing everything else wrong. Like, Teal has to start player here to grow in round 11, meaning they have to pass on four wood. They have no wood for fences. Um, things are just bad for a lot of these players. I'm taking four wood and fencing? I'm just taking four wood and fencing, right? I mean, I'm definitely taking four wood. That, that's just not a question. The one reason I'm hesitating on fencing is because I also do need to get the swing plow played. But I guess I get to open three wood next round. I do get to open three wood next round. Hmm. We'll figure this out. Hollow Warden Garbage Ock. Hollow Warden's pretty bad, yeah. Uh, the other hearth gets bought. Okay. Uh, if the pigs come back, do I even want them? Purple clearly wants them and is hungry. Do I win this game by taking pigs? Fascinating. I don't super want the pigs, but also, like, it's kind of crazy. You keep saying Hollow Warden, but that's Clay Warden. Oh, that's Clay Warden, not Hollow Warden. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Hollow Warden's the fireplace. Uh, I've just been mentally blocking it. They, they have Clay Warden. It gives them trickles of food and clay. It's not terrible. It sort of makes sense with Muddy Puddles, but it's still not good. But yes, Hollow Warden is the fireplace. Uh, you're correct. I've just... They all bleed together for me, too. Um, okay, slight trickiness here. I would kind of like to SP Swing Plow next round, right? SP Swing Plow also would be really nice, uh, but I kind of can't do that if I fully fence. Do I fence 13? And this is after. That's annoying. Hmm. Well, I could awk. I could awk to get one more wood, fence 13, and then still have enough for Swing Plow. Okay, actually, that's pretty legit. Although 13 is not... It means I have to pay a food for each cow. I probably should just take these pigs. Probably should just take the pigs, hold two pigs, then fence. You would greed. You would fence and then hope to get the pigs. Take the pigs after fencing. Purple just built a hearth and has two food. There's there's no way the pigs come back. I would love that to happen, but there's just... It can't. I just refuse to believe Purple is not slamming pigs. Purple is going to fence, though. Okay, well, that's a little annoying, but not that big of an issue, although they can fence again next round. Hmm. Well, again, you know, I can afford to fence 13 here. I am just going to go awk, and then next round I have to open fences now, which is a little annoying, but I'll hopefully wheel swing plow. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. I will fence, awk, swing plow. Or awk, sorry, awk, fence, Swing plow is the new plan. Ock fence swing plow. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, although admittedly fodder planner is mildly dubious here as an ock. I could literally take one wood. That seems bad. I probably should have majored the well, knowing you would need to major out swing plow usually. Leaving myself reno open? You mean just leave myself reno? Because I could reno this round, but I can't. Yeah, I could reno the swing plow here, but I can't now. Yeah, that's an interesting thought, Sid, actually. Because you're right. It's awkward here. I, I want to play swing. I have no good actions on this board, actually. Um, yeah. 
You like leaving Reno open. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Leaving Reno open would have been good. I should have just gone major, major. You're right. People building insane numbers of rooms. Yes, the numbers of rooms are insane. This table is just absolutely bonkers. Oh, and yeah, I see. Because they're building huge rooms, too, I get to block their Reno queue. Messing with their Reno queue is very fun. Um, yeah, messing with their Reno queue is very fun. Teal's going to build a stable because they're going to breed cows in stables, I guess. I mean, whatever. That and SP is hell. Yes, SP is hell. I'm, I'm, if I don't SP here, actually, like, this is the other awkward part. I really want to SP the swing plow next round, but I probably can't. See, the, uh, the thing that scares me about SP swing plow is that purple can just instantly fence. I don't know that they will. But purple blocking fences repeatedly is really bad for me. So I really got to get in there. But then, yeah, the swing plow is so late here because I can't take wood. Ugh. And see, if I ock, I get one more wood and I just fence 13 and swing plow. I mean, if I could just writing boards, that would solve things too, but I can't. I probably should just ock. I think the fodder planter is still good, although the greening plan is looking better and better by the moment. But fodder planner and taking crops still seems worthwhile, although I'm only getting two sow actions. That's still pretty powerful. Just ignore greeting plan. Yeah, I think I like that still. Plow being open is in in insults. Yeah, compared to where we could or should be. Yeah. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're a little bit afraid that purple is going to fence first action. I agree. That's why I've said I'm fencing first action. I'm not starting with the swing plow as much as I want to. I really want to just SP swing plow, but I literally am going to open fences here because getting fence blocked is really bad. Um, and I just don't want to fight them anymore. But it is a little unfortunate because purple also might just SP. Uh, because they might be trying to lock up their growth. Like, God, Swing Plow is so important. I, I really want both. Like, it, it, it is bad. I should have got Swing Plow down earlier. I've, I've mangled this game slightly. I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's losing. But I, d I have mangled this game slightly compared to where it should be. But it's okay. We still are going to be in a dumb good spot. So, like, whatever. Life could be a lot worse than what it is. But the Swing Plow tempo is bad the upside is field watchings in front of me so like but yeah the plow like my opponent should start taking plows with higher priority you think a stage two swing plows close to twice as strong i think you're correct the tempo on swing plow is bad yeah because now purple is gonna sp yeah see this is you're right it's very bad because now i might not get all my swing plows in I could definitely be getting plow blocked very easily and even though plows were getting ignored the last couple rounds here who knows also how does purple have so much food all of a sudden oh chairman plus wage plus they took bottom feeding last round okay yeah i probably should have just sp'd there and seen what happened uh sp and the swing plow is so much better too but oh well oh well we'll make do with what we can do but this is this is bad you would have just played the swing plow still because it just had to happen and going last is real bad and we were likely going last because people are dumb Fencing's nowhere near as urgent. I suppose. I suppose it's not. I just also hoped purple would, you know, I don't know what, do anything besides just insta SP because growing this late is super dumb. But no, of course, of course, these players don't understand wood and plows. How are they not taking wood and plows? Hopefully plow just continues floating around, but I kind of doubt it after I play swing plow. But hopefully we get plow back. That would be incredible. But these players should be plowing and taking wood. So, okay, there's taking wood. Red should probably plow, but hopefully they don't. They have food issues, actually. Not that many food issues. Red wants to take cow for milk jug. And red wants to reno. I don't know what red wants to do. Red should probably plow. I should, I should get blocked. But we can dream. 
Oh my god, team. Oh my god. They are they are ridiculous, but uh, that's that's good for us. Yep, they're ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Well, that was absurd, but... Yes, Red, you definitely needed that clay for... I don't know what, but... No way? Yeah, I mean... No way is correct. This this table is... This table is... This table is insane. This is a miracle? It it really is. It This is... This is, this is absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd, but... You know... We'll take it but yeah i don't know. this is this this is uh yeah you know exactly what that clay is for it's for a fifth room it, it it probably is gonzo they have exactly enough reed to build a fifth room and then reno a big house a big house with a stone thing so um, but yeah, it's it's rough watching <laughs> players only know how to go big house in late growth Oh my god. But whatever. Whatever. Um all right, what do we do from here? We we take some crops. We take some crops, we fight hard for growth. Everything should be fine, but fortunately I have zero need to go to stone and rental pressure is horrendous, so that should be nice. Yeah. Oh wow, purple's or red's not building. Wow, okay, the rental pressure has alleviated significantly. I agree. I thought red was building. Um, but they just wanted the pottery. Which, you know, sort of get. It helps ease their food, but also was not actually expecting that. It also means there's slightly more pressure on uh grow without, which is a little sad. Um, but, oh well. Pottery's definitely better than a fifth clay room, so you'll give them that. Oddly enough, I don't even know if I entirely agree, to be honest. Well, although it means they're breeding their sheep here, which they otherwise weren't. But, oh, actually, wait, no, they don't need the pottery. They didn't need the pottery food. Um, I don't know that I entirely agree, Gonzo. Nobody else... Nobody else should be building more rooms. So if Red built another room, they were getting they were getting grow well, they're getting grow in thirteen and fourteen. But they already had all the materials to build the room and renovate. So meh. Uh okay. This is a phantom message, I believe. Yeah. Unfortunately we can't fodder plan or so, but we'll get there. Purple's gonna take two read and build. If if purple builds another room, that's crazy. Also, if purple takes two reed, that's... Oh, purple does need to build another room, though. Oh, my God. Purple does have to build another room. No, you're right. Oh, my God. I forgot. I forgot. Grow flipped. Yeah, that's a bit sad. But Although that might be good for us, right? Maybe. I don't know. Anyhow, I'm definitely just slamming plow if it comes. Although, do I slam three sheep over plow? No, that's crazy, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Excursion of the quarry into the game. Okay, that's fine. Red might play Excursion of the Quarry and build another room. I don't know. I'm just going to plow, assuming it comes to me. Actually, if growth comes to me, I grow. I will grow over plowing because I'm just so convinced I can get the other swing plow fields. It's no longer as pressing to get swing plow happening. Um, these people have a crazy lack of plowing anyhow, and this player should never plow in front of me, and growing is insane in round 12 if it somehow comes. But otherwise, yeah. Wow, we're going to SP rather than grow without. Um, that's a choice. That's a choice. I mean, you definitely have grow next round. Food basket, very good. Plow sow is very good, but you could just be plowing or growing, and you're going to SP. I mean, we'll take it, but okay, yeah, unfortunately he gets grow. That's sad. Um, I am kind of tempted by three sheep. Three sheep is two points. I guess the question is who else is taking it? I'm probably getting, I'm getting grow next round. I get grow next round first action, so I don't want to have to plow next round. And I don't really need the sheep. Yeah, let's just get this out of the way. Um, and the sheep might come back, to be honest. It's unclear. But I, I am getting grow next round, because, well, 
I, I assume. I assume red's not going to open grow without after skipping it, and teal can't grow without anymore. So getting grow is huge, because that's really all I need. Um, these people are taking wood. Okay, I just get the sheep back. I just get the sheep back. Red, red, has, red also needs to take wood, or I don't know. So I get the sheep back, and then I can do stuff like take a veg, or actually take grain. I could take grain. Taking grain is kind of funny just to mess with teal, but. Yeah, we just take a couple crops. Taking some crops. We're going to sow some crops. We're ignoring greeting plan. This game should be a pretty clean win. We're already at 29. We have some more cows coming in. I'm going to get a, like eight more crop points than this. A couple more animal points than this. And another growth at least. So grow takes us to 32, crops take us to like 40, animals take us to like 43. 43 is not incredible, but I don't know how anybody else is equaling us, so. You think you like veg? You kind of like seed selling to grain? Yeah. You think if you just sow veg in this stage, greening plant is better than sowing grain? Um, the problem is I don't think that's true because I'm breeding, I'm breeding all three animal types. So I have tons of sow actions and I can like plant most of my fields in the next two rounds and get a lot of points for it. Veg just seems better overall. I agree. I think veg is better overall. Um, I couldn't get the grain. You didn't know I had that card on your laptop. Oh yeah. I already have fodder planter played. Fodder planter is literally already played. That's why I'm talking about taking the crops. I'm not. Well, actually, yeah, that part's awkward. I'm not going to fodder planter until after the harvest, so I'm not actually harvesting any crops, am I? Hmm. That part's actually a little awkward. Not harvesting crops is kind of annoying. Greeting plant definitely dead. Yeah. Yeah. That is why seed seller just max grain easy. I mean, the problem is actually getting on the grain space, but yeah... Honestly, playing Seed Seller might be correct, though, because, yeah, I, I play Seed Seller, I take Grain, I take Veg, I take Veg as some of my remaining actions. I can't take Veg. Well, that's... I am playing Seed Seller. Easy, easy. Play Seed Seller. Done. Uh, all right. Are any of these players close to beating me? Purple has to build a room in Reno, and then, no, they're just... They're not winning. They have no fields. Their food is still rough. They're million points behind me. Okay, not a threat. Red. Red is getting a plow, so they will fence more. They are not actually above me in actions. Not really a threat. Teal. Teal's probably the only threat. Okay, so we should we should be on the lookout for what we can do to interfere with teal, which seed seller mildly does. I also can't really do that much to interfere with anybody. I kind of have to just take the actions I'm allowed, but I have plenty of time to take the grain. I agree. I can also just patch for next round instead of veg. Oh, that's true. I can play patch caregiver. I mean, it costs a lot to get the veg off patch caregiver, but you are right that I can just do it if I need to. All right. Okay. Teal has a, a lot of actions on me. They are going to run out to stone, unfortunately. They will eventually get another plow. So Teal's main issue is their fences are bad. So I guess... I can't really justify taking wood, though. I need other people to take all the wood. But yeah, Teal's main issue is not enough wood. So nowhere to put the animals. And then not necessarily enough ceiling, but a lot of actions. I probably beat them cleanly, but... Mildly an issue. Mildly. Yeah, Teal just opens the wood anyhow. Okay, I definitely slam Urgent. You were wrong about Reno Pressure. You forgot the wood slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a wood slide too, so. They're all going to Reno to stone. Except me, but Fence Pressure is a thing. Fence Pressure is a thing. Thank you, Purple. That's actually very useful. Red, Red has to SP for Fence. I guess Teal will just get Reno Fences. Yeah. Yeah, Red has to SP for Fence. Yep. 
Uh, that means I'm going to grow again next round at least, though. So that's actually pretty huge because I am running out of things to do. But just getting all the grows is uh, very helpful. Half-timbered house. Okay, that makes more sense why we didn't build another room. Okay, half-timbered house is another good reason to have done that. Teal lines up Ren Fence. That makes sense. There's three pigs again, which is just offensive, but purple should take them, probably, and I don't care. I should just take my grain, actually. Yeah, just take my grain. I could get my veg in a couple different ways, but yep, yeah, there goes that. I should just get veg here, too, actually. Red doesn't need a veg. Teal doesn't need veg. Perfect. We slam veg. Everything is beautiful. We get grow next round. Next round, I take veg again, and then I honestly have two actions next round that are doing God knows what. I build a, f well, I don't even build a fireplace. Um, maybe I can take three stone into stone oven or something. It probably doesn't matter at that point. If I'm getting another grow action and I'm planting all these crops, I'm probably actually getting to 49. Isn't patch worth it with greening plant and max crops? Does greening plant have a two field? Greening plant has to have empty fields, Sid. How is that possible? It's unplanted fields. That's, that's There's no way. I have seven fields. I plant five of them. I'm playing, oh, you're saying I can play greening plan for one point. I see. I could greening plan a point. I mean, that seems pff, whatever. I'm not, I, I'm not even sure I have that much food. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not good. Uh, I maybe just be staring down the barrel, take wood and stable or fence with my last two actions. Oh, yeah, I could take wood and defense. Although I'm never getting fences. I'm never getting fences, Gonzo. That's not a thing. Red has to open fence. Purple's fence pressure has put tremendous pressure on the fencing action space. Um, teal has to open Ren Fence, actually, because otherwise Purple's going to Ren Fence. Um, oh, although Purple can't Reno yet. Oh, no, Purple's going to build here, though. Purple's going to build here, and then they're going to, they have Ren Fence open, so. Stable, probably not pressured, though, and it's identical points. Correct. I might be able to take Wood into Stable, but that's also weak. Like, whatever, we'll see. I do get Veg. Oh, wow, Teal. <laughs> teal swagged them, swag man. Oh, I totally forgot. I didn't block Grain Seeds for them. <laughs> I didn't block grain seeds for them. They built a stable so they could jump onto plow. Oh, but they built a stable, so I'm still winning that exchange. Oh, hilarious. I, <laughs> I forgot swag, man. Oh, we could build a stable to still get on grain plow. Oh, and then still leave build open for purple. Hilarious. Still leave build open for purple all right so purple can ren fence so yeah teal has to realize they have to open ren fence we could hope teal blows it by not opening ren fence uh again i still don't think it matters i think i'm winning regardless but um if teal messes that up that would be that'd be sick also red did not grow this round oh my god purple gets to grow this round because red just skipped growing animal tamer for teal just so we can breed our cows i mean fine also how is teal feeding God, Teal's, food's, Teal's food is bad. Yeah, purple is growing. Hilarious. Hilarious. Cat. Yeah, I think this is a clean win here. Um, think think we got this pretty safely. It doesn't look like anybody else is hitting in upper 40s, but... Feeding off a fireplace with Field Watchman sure is something. Yeah, and both ovens still exist. Like, the ovens absolutely still exist. <laughs> But they could build a stone oven here. They could just build a stone oven, but then I guess they get fence blocked. They have to run fence because they've put themselves in this position. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, whatever. It's This has been a game, everybody. This has been a game. These players are all rated 300 to 400, but they have a lot of basics down, but then they have a lot of other stuff they're missing, and we got lucky. Um, that swing plow stuff really worked out. Just getting to grow like this is working out. These people built way too many rooms, but I, I guess these people also, like, they had a half-tempered house I didn't see. They had a wood slide I didn't see. So there was some reasons for people to be building more rooms than I knew. I got pretty lucky that it's late growth. 
Late growth is pretty much ideal for hay dryer swing plow stuff. Like, just do your farming and win. Uh, like, cool. But, yeah, what a weird one. This fodder planner is actually super sick, too. Like, this fodder planner is pretty powerful here. Um, I mean, I realize that with greening plan, I'm not totally sure. Although, this is still better than greening plan, I think. Because, again, I, I can't get that. Like, greening plan is five points, but maxing all the crops is, like, slightly better. Uh, it is a lot more actions, though, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Greening plan maybe still was fine, but... This is part of why I'm so low on greening plan, though. Just, like, most of the time I'm like, just get my crops on the ground, but... I guess you have to actually have crops, and you have to have actions. But... I'm also not totally sure what we're eating here at the end of the game, but we'll worry about that later... I guess I'm probably eating two sheep and a cow. Yeah, I'm just eating two sheep and a cow next round. And a grain. Two sheep and a cow. Yeah. I'm just planting all three grain here. I think I'm just planting all three grain here and then trying to take another veg and plant two veg. Yeah. Planting all three grain here gives me one extra food. Because then I can eat one of the grain that comes out of the ground. Yeah. Does it matter what I plant? Not really. But I think I think the main reason is yes. Just the I do get one extra food of grain cuz it will come out in time for the 14 harvest. So I think that's the only reason it matters. Um I guess if there's a hidden guardian head official, delaying the veg is also correct, but like I don't think there's a guardian head official, but as long as I plant any grain, I get the food. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't. I don't have to plant all three. I just have to plant a grain, which I clearly am. I'm planting at least two grain, and really the question is, does it matter if I plant a third grain or or the veg? And it it doesn't. Well, and actually, the veg could be a lot of food. If, well, the veg is not food. I have so many animals. Um, which, by the way, this sort of position. This sort of position is why I said Hearth was way better. Uh, Chris Ho, if you're watching this VOD later, I'm just going to argue with you that I think pottery would be a big mistake. Um, there's still clay pressure at the end here because Purple still wants to take clay for earthenware potter. Uh, Teal still wants to take clay for muddy puddles. So, like, even if I built pottery, I think we're just way worse off. So, I, I agree. I think pottery, like, I think it's a big misread, so that's that's a little bit why I'm arguing with Chris Ho. I think Chris Ho's a very good player, but I think pottery is one of the worst reads I've heard from him and I think Hearth is just so much better like so it's all uh it's clear this hand has insane hearth feeding yep agreed we, we have stable planter to help hold animals we have hay dryer which is just so much food like just yeah just give me a hearth just get the just get the animals going I also think it was fairly clear that my opponents were not doing much with hearths. I mean, I guess field watch, this player should have sooner, but whatever. Everybody did actually go for hearth feeding plans. It's actually kind of crazy how big, how many animals I got then, now that I think about it. Like, getting this many animals is a little wild, given how many of my opponents are trying to feed with fireplaces and hearths. But, anyhow, I did get crazy animal actions, but I was going to since I had all the tempo. That's fair. That that's true. This is part of why building extra rooms is so bad. Like again, Teal had like when you have to keep first actioning SP and first actioning growing when there's insane things happening on the board, you have to do dumb shit like open freaking you have to open fencing instead of purple's gonna get plow so I mean they have no crops, so whatever. But like you have to first action fence and red offense because you have such bad tempo and everything. Like also I'm still waiting for Teal to miss that red fence is threatened. Red fence being threaded is hard to see, but the combination of Woodslide Hammer, Hedgekeeper, Brushwood Collector means that purple can absolutely red fence. Um, but it doesn't. It does not look like they can. Um, so we're gonna see if Teal uh, Teal recognizes they have to red fence, or if they're willing to get screwed. I guess you also have to weigh if purple will actually red fence over plowing. But it's not that hard to see. I don't look. I don't think it's that hard to see. But 
they rate over 300, yeah. Teal is also absolutely starving. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Teal's food is bad. Hilarious. Purple should slam Ren Fence? They should. And they do. They do. Yep. That's that's how that's how you that's how you beat this. That's how you beat Teal. You force Teal to build a bunch of stables. And uh yeah. I mean purple's game still sucks, by the way. Like, purple's not gonna break 40. Um <sighs> Woodslide Hammer is a real trap sometimes, everybody. You you gotta you gotta just you gotta you gotta throw away Woodslide some days, but anyhow. Three wood is insanity. Three wood was insanity. It turns out they literally threw an action away. Also, nobody wanted plow, so it's hilarious. But like, I don't, I don't need plow. Actually, red not taking plow so and taking two cows—that's a little crazy. Yeah, red probably should have plow so, but whatever. Purple has trouble breaking thirty. They do, but just about. Now, nah, purple definitely breaks thirty. Purple's getting plow back. Purple still can do earthenware potter for five points. They just have to. Oh, they have to pay. No, yeah, purple. Purple has a has a yeah. Purple's food is fine, right? They have a hearth. They have four pigs, three cows. I mean, they have to eat a couple points, but they're not like eating that many points. And they have a bunch of points from plowing, and uh, from earthenware potter. Yeah, yeah, they got th purple. Purple's been breeding. Oh, it's hidden by the chat. Oh, you're right. You're right. No, there's three cows in this pasture. Yeah, you can see it over here on the right hand side of their stuff. But purple has four pigs, three cows. So purple's fed. I mean, again, eating a couple points fed, but they'll live. But you're right. I'm sorry. I forget that that part's obfuscated. Um, all right, Plauso is still available, and I don't want Plauso either. Oh, also, can I get the stone oven here? Wait a sec. Is anybody going for major? No, I should slam three stone and just build the stone oven, right? I mean, I guess I should take a veg. Hmm. Nah, whatever. It literally doesn't matter. I'm being, I'm being too, way too fancy. None of these players are close to me. I probably should take three stone. Yeah, you think I should? Okay. I, but whatever. Because teal should be taking. Oh, teal should be taking three stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have patches insurance, and teal should be taking three stone. Teal should definitely be taking three stone and renewing stone oven. Very much, they should do that, but. I have no reason not to be greedy, I suppose. I, I I decided I had no reason to be greedy. I would just lock up my stuff. Oh, and yeah, now we're going to lose Stone Oven? Oh, no, we're not losing Stone Oven. Red's doing that for tiebreak. They're growing and they're out of actions. Lovely. Okay. None of these players are going to break 40? Oh, wow. Teal's not even taking the stone? I mean, they're going to build stables and then they're going to grain plow, but... Not taking three stones so you can't, like, reno the stone oven is wild. Renoing stone oven solves so many of your problems. What are you saving wood for? Why are we not building another stable? Red's gonna hit 40? Oh, you're right. Red's, Red's breeding a point. I'm sorry. Apologies, Red. You hit 40. You did hit 40. You did it. You think Teal should just stone oven? Oh, yeah. Teal shouldn't even renovate anymore. <laughs> you're probably right. But whatever, it does. Yeah, it doesn't matter. What else can I do? Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I can take wood into stables, but somewhat hindsight. It seems like fencing twelve and plowing extra fields to do both crops and greeting plan was the way to go. Wow, that's actually fascinating, Gray. But you're right. I could have fenced twelve, and then actually I could have done both because these players just hate plows that much. But that's very hindsight. I think that's that's clearly hindsight, but that is funny. No, I, I think Gray's meaty. Well, he said somewhat hindsight, but we also have patch. Yeah, we do also have patch. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I should have done both. We didn't think we were getting to plow at all when we fenced. We were definitely worried that we were going to get blocked on swing plow. <laughs> but uh, this this uh, this game was nutty, so whatever. Also, we are getting a stone oven because reasons. I literally don't know what Teal's doing in this endgame, but sure. We'll somehow get the well and the stone oven because everybody else needed to be in big stone houses. This is like classic. Like, this is just classic at the moment. Like, everybody's in a big stone house with not good enough farm. I build a big farm and just win easily. Like, someday people will learn, but... 
until then, this is uh, yeah, this is this is just taking free. This is just taking free wins at this point. Like this is crazy, but. All right, so I'm going to end at 52 now. Maybe not 52. I don't have quite enough food for 52. I'm going to end at 51. Because uh, I eat two sheep. Oh, no, I eat two sheep and a cow. No, I do end at 52. Okay. Nice. 52 is pretty good. Pretty good. Teal's three woods making you sad? I mean, it should. Teal threw away an action. Teal not taking three stone to run out stone oven is also, like, just super sad. Because they're... Teal's eating so many points. I mean, they're at least muddy puddles in some points back. But, yeah, it's pretty sad. Purple's also... I thought purple was scoring... Better than their thirty. Well, they're breaking thirty easily, but yeah, they're not getting to forty. But they, I guess, teal purple's gonna hit thirty-seven. Ugh. Anyhow, teal one hundred percent should be getting an easy second here. In your opinion, if teal just opens red fence, I think teal did have second place. Yeah, I think I agree. Teal would have just had to break forty, and if teal just red fenced, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Teal, teal, yeah, teal, teal just missed it. Teal just missed it. I called it out. I pointed it out. I said why it was mildly tricky, but... Stable Architect for two points. Why are you doing that over plowing? Oh, because of scales. Hilarious. Okay. Nope, that's fine. That's that's fun. All right. Oh, I have to pay a food for this cow. Does that impact things? Oh, no, I have a grain. Okay, it doesn't impact things. Tremendous. Tremendous. Teal's not close to me, but you think they're like 42-ish? Oh yeah, no, completely agreed. If Teal just red fenced, um, if Teal just red fenced. Also, Teal should have stone ovened. Like, I guess their foods, I guess they're not eating that many points. But yeah, no, I completely agreed. Teal, Teal just missed it. They, they, they thought. I think they thought they could take wood and then red fence. I think they just somehow missed the combination of. I think they just missed the combination of effects going on on Purple's farm. and Stone Oven was definitely better than Reno for them also. I, again, they also should have just... They should have done both. There was no reason that they couldn't take three stone and Reno Stone Oven. That's what they should have done. They definitely should have just snapped that, but they kind of just seem to have lost the thread of things at the end, which, hey, it happens. All right, we eat two sheep, we eat a cow, and we eat one raw grain. And then we wind up breeding three points and fodder plantering two points. Uh... Oh, also, why did I think the crops didn't come out in time to reap so with fodder planter? Wait a sec. I was probably supposed to plant a veg. Why did I think they wouldn't come out in time? I'm so dumb. Right, fodder planter messes up my sow intuition. I don't use it enough. It doesn't matter, but I can re-sow grain here, actually. Like, I have another food. I could have ate another grain and then re-sowed a grain. But, whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. Because re-sowing a veg doesn't change anything, really. I still have to grab another veg. But... Cost one point because I'd have baked the grain and I'd have two more sheep. Oh, I could have... Well, no, I don't have the grain in hand for stone oven, though. Oh, I do have a grain. Hmm. No, I don't because they don't come out of the ground. Oh, but I'm, I see. No, you're right. I see. I, I, I could have baked the one grain in my hand because I would have I would have planted two grain in a veg, but the grain comes out to re-sow. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it did, and I could have held six sheep here and had four cows here. Yeah, yeah, no, I think, yeah, I think so. I think I did sow it wrong, but oh well. 
Anyhow, uh, they got baffled by the fence block and they got scared of empty spaces. Who knows? Whatever. It doesn't really matter. But fun, fun 52 here for sure. It is getting, yeah, some of these games are a little, little easy though. When, when it's 38, 39, 40, like, wow, Teal got last because of that, actually. Purple did get to 39, so yeah, Sid, yeah. Well, it's, you missed the end. Cows, and you might have missed Earth to wear a potter, but weird how it just turned solitaire in the final few stages. I mean, the fact that my opponents, yeah, just did not get in my way at all is a little nutty also. Like, they just, they, I mean, this is also just sad, though. Like, getting, I mean, I, I shouldn't say it's that sad, right? Again, this is relative. Getting 40 points is pretty good for intermediate players. Like, it's not easy to hit 40 every game, but I'm going to need some tougher practice for WC. Yeah, I did play Weed Off of the Bad Habits. Yeah, I played, uh, I did play on Play Agricoli yesterday with uh, Kim Ball and JP and Andrew, and I got a win there, but that game also broke like just stupidly well. I had, I had Cloister Dweller, and it was late growth and a handful of other things and and writing maniac and like i was able to just easily buy some ox play a cloister game plan it was cool but it was uh yeah i it was just also like a game that broke well but i agree i do need to i do need to weed off some bad habits uh this game, I win by a lot, and I still wasn't probably as sharp as I should be or need to be to beat experts. I think Sid is correct that I definitely was supposed to just awk and get the swing plow down. I think that's a pretty big difference. Uh, I think it turns out you're right that I probably should have delayed Reno for a while, even arguably, to uh, put pressure on. Um... But yeah, swing plow pressure in particular, like... Like, last action round 10, I had to... I played Fodder Planner, which turned out useful, right? But, like, I didn't want to be playing Fodder Planner there. I would love to just be plowing three fields with last action of round 10. Like, there was definitely some other points that... Uh, yeah, I should have I should have had the swing plow down sooner, but... Oh, but, yeah, Teal... Teal, uh, Teal really blew this, uh, blew this second place. Also, Red played that game in 639. Um, <laughs> that's, that's wild. Congrats. Uh, anyhow, I don't know if it's good just as pressure, but when you have a minor, you want to play it likely not an SP. It makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I had a lot. I, I think I I think the bigger issue is I just had a lot of improvements to play. I needed to play Swing Plow. I wanted to play the Well. I needed to play the Hearth. Like, when you have that many improvements to play, you should just be taking Major when it's open. Even though Reno is obviously slightly more like efficient, I can get the Reno later. It doesn't. I don't care too much when the Reno happens, and so yeah, leaving myself the the opportunity to Reno when I like need an improvement action is important because again, at the end of round ten, I wound up in that position where I couldn't play. Um, I couldn't play an improvement because Major was blocked. If I could have rend it, that would have been great. If I could have just used it, that would have been great. So I do think yeah, I think those are small small errors for sure. Um, I got a bit lucky with animal grabs, but also, like, partly as you're saying, like, I just had good tempo on it because I got an early hearth, and then, like, Red is, Red is the only other person at the time that wanted to take animals, but they were, they had no actions, and they had food, so they couldn't really justify grabbing them. I maybe was supposed to find a way to take slightly more wood early, but I will give kudos. Like, these players at least understood to take wood fairly aggressively. I, I mean, I certainly got enough wood to achieve my goals by the end, but it was a little tight. I, I didn't get as much wood as I wanted as fast as I wanted, and indeed, I, like, I only got 16 wood from the board, which seems... I was going to say, that seems wrong? But I guess, no, that's correct, because I got six wood from Bonehead. I was going to say, I, I used five wood on a room, and I used 13 wood on fences, and I used some wood on improvements, but now that exactly masks out. I used four wood, 17 wood, I used 22 wood. So 16 from the board, and six from Bonehead. So Bonehead also put in a lot of work this game. Six wood on Bonehead, very, very big. Yeah. Never even used the writing boards, but probably for the best. 
I got. I mean, I got enough wood, and I just never had the time. Sad I didn't get the forest. Sad I didn't get to use forest stone plus maintenance premium for a bit more like food. But I think that's mostly for early growth, slightly more actions. Although, also you do have to wonder what I would even do with slightly more actions. Like realistically, late growth was very good for me this game. Like my farm is pretty much capped. I could have one more point of fences. I technically could have one more stable. I could maybe have a couple like just barely a couple more animal points like one more animal point but like that's pretty capped like one animal point one stable one fence i could get to a stone house but like yeah i'm i'm i, I did kind of hit my ceiling here it doesn't get a lot better than 52 so realistically late growth turns uh very good for me but things like swing plow and hay dryer are just yeah, very good in late growth games. Fodder planner, reasonably good with this type of game plan too. Um, so yeah, it was cool. Anyhow, uh, thanks all for hanging out and chatting. Who was around? It was cool. Glad that this was a pretty quick game at an hour and a half. I do have some other stuff going on later today, so it'll be good to head off and go do that. Um, I don't know that there's a lot else to say about this one. I guess I'm going to just peek at the draft, but it could be a little cringy, although probably not that cringy. Most of the cards I didn't see actually make sense. The main thing that's a little confusing is Red decided to not go Stew plus Animal Feeder, even though I think they have both. But realistically, I don't know that their game is... I think their game probably is better for ignoring Stew plus Animal Feeder. What did I first pick? Bonehead? Uh, Probably? It's an excellent question. We could we could review my position first, actually. I think it is Bonehead, right? No, Haydryer. No, Haydryer. Of course, I picked Haydryer. Haydryer, Haydryer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Haydryer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Sorry. I, I agree. I, I kind of forgot Haydryer all of a sudden, but no, I definitely first picked Haydryer. Um, I first picked Haydryer, and I first picked Riding Boards, which I think turns out okay still. Like, I just don't need Milk Jug with a Haydryer game plan, because I don't want to take cows and I have lots of late-game food, so I'm, yeah, I'm content that was fine. Scales maybe could have worked for my game, but I just find first picking Scales really annoying, because you have no idea what the tempo of the rest of your cards are going to be. I am second seat, so like it could be pretty good, but I'm, I'm lower on Scales than I initially was, because it's just, it, it leads to very awkward tempo too often. Um, and food just doesn't matter as much in Revised, there's usually a lot of it. And writing boards can be sick. No, I don't regret this. So I second pick Bonehead then. I get past Bonehead because Field Watchman got taken. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I second pick Bonehead. Bonehead, yeah, Bonehead Swing Plow went beautifully. Um, yeah, this tied, this tied the whole hand together. I got the extra wood for Haydryer. I have the extra wood for Swing Plow. Swing Plow fucks, does all my fields. Yeah, it was, it was that was easy. This was the hard pack. I did take Seed Seller. Seed Seller wound up being useful. Why did Field Watch would not take Seed Seller? That's going to be an interesting thing to go check out. Why Seed Seller came to us. Because of Swagman? Did we take Swagman over Seed Seller? Not that you need Seed Seller, but... Also, Field Watch would not taking greeting plans a little interesting. So yeah, let's, let's go actually look at some other positions quick. Uh... You've actually found scales easier to manage than you thought, provided you remember you have to SP it up for play lock. Scales is not like terrible, like by any means. Like scales is clearly pretty good in the games where it like works fairly well. Like the extra like six or eight food to your early game can be really meaningful. Oh, there's also Green Grocer in this draft. Wait a second. Doesn't Green Grocer wheel to them? Also, they first picked three field rotation. Oof. I might just de-draft Swing Plow. Swing Plow is so powerful. I would definitely take Wooden Way Bucket over three field rotation, though, but Scales is best with aggressive growth. It's not ideal with Haydryer. Yes. I agree. Wow, they do almost go Bonehead Swing Plow and pass field watching. I think that's honestly defensible here. I think Bonehead Swing Plow is actually a very legitimate pick. I'm pretty high on Field Watchman still, but Swing Plow really negates your care about Field Watchman. 
you think Bonehead Swing Plow is a lot better than Field Watch? I'm not sure it's a lot better, but I agree that because there's like the problem is you're passing Swing Plow, and you're if you're passing a Swing Plow and you have a Field Watchman, your advantage in plowing is pretty much negated. There's just like very little plow pressure in the game at that point. But I would not take three field rotation, but whatever. Okay, and now we don't take Seed Seller. Okay, we almost take Seed Seller, and we take Greeting Plan. But instead, we take Truffle Slicer? We take Animal Tamer? No, we take Clay Warden? Okay, this is... Seed Seller with Field Watch is pretty trash. I agree it's a lot more grain than you need. You really don't need the extra grain from Seed Seller. Um, also, I would not take Cattle Feeder here. Millwright's actually pretty legit here. Millwright is uh, somewhat of a reason to actually just plant a ton of grain. Using Millwright for a little flexibility on whatever resources you're short can actually work. Cattle feeder is just trash. You would expect a wheel green grocer out of that time, and you would certainly take field watching. Yeah, I think that's fine. If you're trying to green grocer field watching is also nothing special. I agree with that. I I don't I don't actually think green grocer is enough of a reason to go field watching out of that opening pack, but it is it is a nice little boost. Um. This money puddles make sense given we've claymorded, I guess. This hand has come just gross. Wow, the green grocer didn't come back. Wow, somebody else did take the green grocer. That's also kind of crazy. Clay delivery bit. Okay, clay delivery bit. I forgot that was in the draft. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know if I would have done a lot of what they did, but whatever. Millwright with Seed Seller would have actually worked. Millwright, though, that was interesting. I agree. That's basically Field of Watch one with two read on top. Yeah, I I agree that Millwright actually kind of would have helped that hand come together and be mildly useful. I'm not totally sure it's winning compared to some of the other stuff going on, but it's definitely closer. Um, all right. This pack, we first picked Bricklayer. We first picked Bricklayer Carpenter's Axe? Ew. We almost took the greeting plan, which that's fine, but Carpenter's Axe? Ew. Take Excursion to the Courier Forest Stone. Carpenter's Axe is pretty overrated on BJ at the moment, in my opinion. Like, it's fine, but it's also super awkward. And then things like Stable Planner get passed to you, and I mean, Established Person's good, too, though. Established Person's a good pick. Wow, and Half-Timbered House got passed. Okay. Yeah, take the Hefterward House. I'm mostly interested if they did wind up with Stew Animal Feeder by the end. I'm assuming they did. Wow, they wound up with Water Worker? Wait a second. Water Worker, Animal Feeder, Stew. Is that enough? It's a lot. That's a lot of cards for a bad combo, probably. Yeah, probably not good. Priest? Priest is pretty... S established person priest is definitely pretty sweet. And then food basket, yeah. We do get animal feeder back. Then we take trellises because of established person. Okay, trellises, established person's also cute. We do wind up with the stew. Interesting, yeah. So we actually have a day labor combo and we leave it alone. And I think that is correct because I think established person priest is probably the focus here. But fascinating. You think you would have gambled on the Master Bricklayer? I agree that I think gambling on Master Bricklayer made a lot of sense at that point. Uh, when you already have a half-timbered house, you kind of want some stone injection going on. But All right. Interesting. That means that this other player took the green grocer? What the... What, what incarnation happened here? Over here, we first pick Brushwood Collector, Woodslide Hammer. That's certainly a choice. I would never take Brushwood Collector here. But that's because I think Brushwood Collector is pretty weak. 
It does mildly help you build a big house, but I'd be much more interested in stable planner, retail dealer. Picking Woodslide is okay. Woodslide could definitely be very strong, and it's hard to say what else you should pick here, but this is a game where I think you have to just let Woodslide Hammer die. But I guess what else are you doing to win? Hedge Keeper certainly makes sense here, because you're going to need wood injection with this plan, although you're also planning to build a big stone house. But I guess Major Spam doesn't usually win. Fine. Hedge Keeper's fine. Anyhow. Do -do -do. We'd all be saying, don't be cute, just take Field Watchman. No, honestly, I don't. I don't know that we'd all say that. Bonehead Swing Plow is just very powerful. Like... It's tough. When you have a minor pack that gives you the best plow in the game, Field Watchman no longer is as exciting. Like, I, I'm lower on Field Watchman than I used to be. It's still a pretty good card, but it's mostly a pretty good card in plow tight games. And so, like, it, Field Watchman's main advantage in Revised is just plows. It, it allows you to max your plows easily. The other advantage Field Watchman has is that there are a lot of grain payoff cards. And in defense of Teal, they got unlucky that there were no grain payoff cards, right? There was no no beer, whatever, no not even the crummy like paymaster options or whatever that Field Watchman could sometimes work. Um so if you don't have a grain payoff and there's not actually plow pressure, I agree that Field Watchman's actually a lot weaker than you think. It's it, like it's still fine. It's still worth playing, but it's probably not worth picking over just taking the swing plow. I think the only reason to pick field watch in there is like you're hoping to hit the grain. Like you're hoping to hit a grain payoff card. Um, but when you don't hit a grain payoff, now he also faced no oven pressure this game, which is definitely nice because oven pressure also makes it a lot harder. Picking green grocer here is wild, by the way. Green this is this is overrated green grocer by a ton. What what in your first couple draft picks here makes you think green grocer is what you need? You're you're building a big house and you're building fences. You're this this is nothing. Chairman is a bunch of food for your big house and like actually does things. Like this the green grocer is crazy, but he didn't build an oven. I agree. This is a very easy fodder planner. Fodder planner is fine too. You have hedge keeper and you have wooden way bucket. You it you like that's fine. If you're gonna take the wooden way bucket here, take the fodder planner. But yeah, green grocer is crazy. Um, you also took green grocer where there's a food basket in the hand. You could have just taken food basket, but okay, game catcher. They did keep the game catcher. That's good. Game catcher is good. Excursion to the Quarry obviously could be very good. I'm, I will, I'm not going to complain about this. But Stable Architect I am going to complain about. I, I get you have a wooden way bucket, but you're planning on a big house and you have a hedge keeper. Why? We, we do not need to be Stable Architect in to fill our spots. I I would... Well, we don't need Reedstone food, though. Meh. Fine, I guess. I don't know. I would not take Stable Architect. I also wouldn't take Sculpture. How are you gonna How are you gonna sculpture? Although this I guess this pack is weak. Maybe just de-draft the stew at that point. Or even use the stew yourself for food, maybe. Uh cookery outfitter's wrong, but they do take earthenware potter, so good. Drinking trough also looks unnecessary, probably, but the miners are getting bad. Although churchyard maybe works with scales tempting you to play a lot of these cards. But Okay, yep, whatever. All right. Wow, they get Chairman 7th. Uh, and they never... Oh, well, they did play Chairman, right? Yeah, okay, they did get around to playing Chairman. Okay. Well, anyhow. All right. Do, 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 do. You think Teal mishandled the game? Yeah, it would have been a perfectly good field watchman because he could have baked 10,000 food even without bake. Yeah, it's fine. You just don't think first picking field watchman's where Teal's game went wrong. Goes the rest of your draft actions. So, I... Yeah, the thing is, I don't... I don't think any of us are disagreeing with the idea that, like, they, like, that, I don't, to me, there's not a huge difference between Bonehead Field, or Swing Plow. Sid thinks there's a pretty big difference, and I think that's fair, also, but I, I would lean towards, like, yeah, not a huge mistake, but I also think that I would actually probably just take Bonehead Swing Plow, 
But even if you're taking the field watching, I agree it's fine. Teal had Teal's issues were a lot more with their play uh, of field watcher to their other cards than it was purely their draft choice. Uh, so yeah. Kind of feels like Sid strongly disagreed. Sid states things firmly. That's that's how he that's how he works. But whatever. You guys can argue, but I'm gonna head off, so it's gonna make it hard for you guys to argue. So uh thanks all for hanging out. Thanks for chatting. It's been good. It's been interesting. Of all the people who don't play much Revides, Sid's opinions are the only ones I can even half stand listening to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, again, Sid, Sid's stupidly good at Agricola. Uh, very good at parsing all this. So I, I think, uh, in this case, I think Sid's right that just take Bonehead Swing Plow, honestly. I mean, also, I'm partly saying this because of the stats. But, like, when you go look at the stats, I mean, again, we, we don't have great stats for Revised. But when you go back and you look, Swing Plow was very high. Swing Plow was, like, bandworthy high in terms of strength. So it's just, I, I totally agree with the idea that picking the bonehead swing plow out of that pack is probably better than taking field watchman and blank card and passing somebody else bonehead swing plow. But yeah. Okay. Expert players only do 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 swing plow. You might notice we've banned Crosscut Wood, we've banned Begging Student, we've banned Trade Teacher, we might, maybe should ban Teacher's Desk, but Swing Plow. And then, if you want to find where Field Watchman is, Field Watchman still very high up. So, you know, Field Watchman's very good. But, anyhow. You think I just win easily off a of Field Watcher game? Probably, but that's because I win. Yeah, exactly. Like, I win here because my opponents play bad. Like, I don't think any of us are disagreeing with that either, to be clear. Like, if I had Field Watcher, I agree. I'd probably be winning this game anyhow. I'm I'm, I'm running Field Watcher and Haydryer. Like, it's late growth. I'm still going to win that game. I'll I'll do I'll do Field Watcher and Haydryer things, and it's going to be fine. Like, my opponents just... My opponents put up 40s. Like, it couldn't even break 40. The, 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 I had to get a 41 to win this game. Like, yeah. Like, I'm just winning that, always. Like... That's not a problem. But anyhow, it's been fun. It's been good. Thanks all for hanging out. Thanks for popping in Lumen. I don't know how long you've been listening to me ramble. We're a well 15 minutes after the end of this stream again, as usual. So I should I should definitely end and move along. Uh, but yeah, uh, I've been getting lucky lately with tables, with drafts, with a lot of things. It's been nice to go on a big win streak. Elo's up to... Elo's up there again. Yeah, 668. Feels good. Anyhow, thanks all for hanging out. It's been good. I will see you all around. Later. Bye.